Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Lake Within. I'm Frostclaw, but you can call me Frosty, Stormy, or Seth, but you probably already know this because this isn't the first episode of this game, series, whatever. So, you already know all this. Thank you all so much for tuning in, for watching, and let's get back into the game. I don't know why I saluted. Thank you. Have fun. Hi. hi. Let, let, let's start. Just get me out of here. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, boom, bada boom, 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 boom. Sweet. A puzzle. <laughs> oh, God. Freaking damn it. And I can rotate the. Ah. Oh. Boom. Let's go. Don't need this. Hell yeah. I'm going to assume that accomplished what I wanted. And head to the well wherever it is. In the middle of the village, he said. It can't be that hard to find, right? Right. I already started by going the wrong way, right? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Where, oh, where has my well gone? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? Oh, where, oh, where has my well gone? Bring back my well to me. What's this? A classroom. It's an even number. I can do this. Yes! Congratulations on finding the puzzle box, kids. The foundations of science is study, okay. examinations of facts, and heaps of out. tea. My tutor, Mr. Toffle, taught me everything I know. Ugh. Good to he know. He eagerly tried my first Ow, invention. Ow, what was that? Something broke. <laughs> After he got blown up a bit and later on got poisoned, I learned an important lesson. To never give up. No, it sounds like you should have given Mr. up. Mr. Toffle actually cried on my last day. I wonder why. I think he was very proud of me. You probably didn't tear gas him or anything. No, no. <laughs> cool, we got that. Is that all that's in here? March twentieth, nineteen o five. I've collected all the supplies from the school building as well. I know as well. I noticed from that habit I had gone around and locked all the doors behind me. Completely pointless, since Nora always seems to find a way in, no matter what. Hmm. Is Nora's a ghost? Am I the only one who can see that for some reason? Is that just normal here? I don't, I'm not sure I understand. But uh, it seems a bit more concerning to me than you seem to be concerned about. Alright, a well. In the middle of the village. How hard can that be to find? How hard do you want to bet it is to find a well in the middle of a village? Can't be that hard. The gardener complained about the new gates. What does he know about running an estate? I must think of the safety of everyone, and of my inventions. We have construction workers running around in the lower gardens, and who knows what they might do. I do not trust them one bit. One of them had an eye patch. Is he a pirate? I cannot have pirates in my backyard. That's why I put up the gates. Pirates cannot use gates. Everyone knows that. <laughs> what? Okay. Is this the well? Why is it in a building? Well, I found it, I guess. What happened here? Whoa. Nora, are you there? Someone. Marie, what are you doing down there? Died down here. What happened here? 
I don't know. It's all wet. How did you become a ghost? I'm not sure. I can't remember not Oh, being so a she ghost. is aware she is a ghost. You think I was a flesh and blood person like you? Yes, I do, Nora. Something must have happened. Why else would Jack and Pearl have me go down here? We didn't plan for it to happen. What? Nora, what is happened? Is this? We were just coming up here to get... To get the girls to leave. No one wanted them here. What do you mean? Do you know what I'm supposed to find? There must be something down here. Oh. Hi. Wait, is that the master? Did they push him down the well? There it is. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Their expositions are so random and nonsensical. I don't understand. Nora, are you there? I don't understand any of their little <laughs> talks. They just and the dialogue doesn't build off at all. It just I can make out some of the words. It's talking about you, Murray. Trying to oh, bring you hi. in here. There's a there's a thing. I can't keep it away from me. You have to hurry. Yeah, we've had this dream a few times now. I guess spirits cannot open gates. So is it pirates that can't open gates or ghosts? I'm really confused about the uh, the premise That's of this sweet. game. It's different from the others. She knows a way out. Nora? Stay close to her, Murray. Uh, that was the plan. Unless you're talking about this one right in front of me. Unless this is no I have, I have no idea. They've explained absolutely nothing from the very first minute of this game. Okay, we got some standing stones. I guess I'll approach that. Okay. We've seen this before. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, okay. I'm supposed to make this symbol, and it would appear I have multiple choices for how to build it. This one can't do it. Oh boy, okay. Wait, where does it start? Zoom, 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 okay. So we have a full triangle and then a bit more off to the bottom right and the top. Can I put that here? Zoom, zoom. I can't. No, that's not right. What was it again? Boop, 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 boop. Okay. No? Does it have to be perfectly even on the top row? Oh, the top one's actually a bit up. Oh. Can I do that here? No. Can I do it here? Yes? Huzzah! Hey, nice, nice, nice. There you are, Marie. Is that you, Miss Nelly? Oh, is this Miss Nelly? Not at all, like I remember. But it has been some time, hasn't it? I thought having you drink the potion would have been enough to bring you here. But it's never that easy, is it? There needed to be two people to form the link back. I was surprised to find you, Marie. But now. You and your sister will help me. Miss Nelly, you were quite clever binding those awful spirits into the seals. When did you realize someone was trying to get out? 
And then you told Pearl about one of the seals, and you told me about the other. Poor Jack was the only one you told about the tear. And you locked a part of him away in here, so he couldn't tell us. To think that the well was where the tear formed, I should have figured that out. And I had no idea you could get into the basement. Luckily, what? I had your help, Marie. Okay, so I've gathered that... I've gathered that Nora's the villain, and she pushed Eden, whatever, down the well, I guess. And there's some sort of evil spirit thing, and they're all stuck here in ghost form or in the estate, and she wants to come back, she wants to get out, and she's trying to break these seals to escape, but it takes two people, but none of that made sense. Like, I, I get the vague concept. And that's about it. Oh my god, why are there multiple of you? Boop, 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 boop. That's easy. I can't do that here. Here we go. No, 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 no. 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 Apparently, it's not this one. Nope. I, whatever. Um, let's do the other one. Maybe you can only do one of them. It's supposed to like be the right path forward. One. Two. Three. Four. Like that. That looks right, because this is above that. Yeah. No? One, two, three, four. Apparently not. Okay. Okay, I don't get it at all. Here, come kill me thing. I give up. Bleh. This is labeled a horror game. Is that you, Miss Nelly? I was surprised. This is an you insane me. amount of just tell, don't show, word of mouth exposition, where you just try to explain the entire game in the last five seconds, and even your explanation doesn't make any sense. you told Pearl about one of the Give me the puzzle. And you told me about the other. Poor Jack was the only one you told about the tear. And you locked a part of him away in here, so he couldn't tell us. That looks that correct. The well was where the tear formed. I should have figured that out. And I had no idea you could get into the basement. Luckily, I had your help, Marie. This doesn't make sense. These don't work. Why am I even trying? It, why isn't it working? It, I don't... Is there supposed to be any sort of rhyme or reason to this at all? Is this supposed to make sense? Nothing works. Am I supposed to... Is there something I'm missing? I've done that about a thousand times. Am I supposed to do it sideways for you? I don't freaking know. Two hours later. Oh my god. Wow. I'm so done at this point. I might. What are you two talking about? I don't know what Miss Nelly is having you do, but you're far too late, Marie. Unfortunately. I can't take you and your sister back with me, but at least we finally found her. So Miss is... Nelly, I was very surprised that neither you nor Pearl ever recognized me. You've probably figured out by now that I'm not really Nora. 
And how you managed to get away that night, I Oh, so is Nora's no body the one in the well? But you can keep the estate. I'm so sick of that place. And this is just some demon imposter. And that old man, locking me in here with his dumb inventions. He didn't even know what he was doing half of the time. But soon I'll be out. And then I just need to deal with that dear old couple. What? What dear old couple? What is happening? What dear old couple? Jack and Pearl? What did they do? Up. Left. Across. Left. 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 Up. Right. Right. Up. Left. Across. Maybe it's small movements. Across, left, 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 up, right, right, up, left. Yes. Okay, cool. Thank goodness. What are you doing? No! So is this Miss Nelly or is this Sophia? So what were the sounds? What was the significance? What were the patterns? What were the spirits? What was anything? Explain anything, Miss anything at all. True hero of this story. So it was Miss Nelly. Okay, at least I get that I explained. Up outside the big house. I looked around, but I couldn't find either Pearl or Jack. Even his typewriter was missing. Sophia was still in shock from the night before. As we started walking towards the camping site, I couldn't believe I finally caught her back. When we arrived, the other girls had just woken up. What had seemed like several days had all taken place that night. Of course, of course. After a few hours, Sophia was back to her old self. <laughs> okay. It was like it had never happened. Of course. Classy, classy. How long did I spend on that in total? Six hours? I spent about six hours on that game. I can't even say that, like, I really enjoyed the first three hours and just didn't like the second half. Because it was like, there were parts I enjoyed and parts that drove me up the wall. In general, I loved the atmosphere. The voice acting was solid. The dialogue was fun. Some of the puzzles were okay. I liked the puzzle boxes, except for the ones with the stupid round number of, of, uh, buttons. But then, I got that letter. My dear Marie, you probably wondered where we went after the whole incident with Nora. I'm glad to say that we are both very much alive, all thanks to you. Who knows what Nora or whoever she was would have done if it wasn't for you. We are forever in your debt and hope that you and Sophia are well. With what little time we have left, we have been traveling all around the world. I'm finally able to show Pearl places we only ever read about. Yours sincerely, Jack and Pearl. So, why just vanish? Run away as fast as possible to make sure Marie can't see you. And then send a letter to her like, Oh yeah, I wished I could talk to you, but I ran away as fast as possible. Why take the typewriter too? I don't know. You had time to grab the typewriter, but you didn't have time to say hi to Marie. You know, the person who supposedly saved you. Although, I guess, as she says, Miss Nelly was the hero of the story. <sighs> okay, I have mixed feelings about it. Like, there were parts I really liked, and there were parts I really didn't like. The, in general, I loved the atmosphere, I loved walking around, I loved talking with uh, Nora and Pearl. That was fun. The atmosphere was good, the voice acting was good, the dialogue was good. 
the puzzles were a nightmare. I've played all the Myst games except for End of Ages, and I am by no means a puzzle aficionado, but I played them. Yes, I needed guides, yes, I needed hints, but I played them and I had a blast and I didn't get frustrated out of my mind because those puzzles and Myst were so deep. They were so well thought out. They were so incredibly, like, they were scientific in their way of in their method of doing things. They didn't explain anything away with magic. There were no arbitrary solutions. Everything had an extremely solid foundation for how the puzzle was built and how it worked and how to solve it. And you could figure it out. It was just really hard. <laughs> Lake Ridden wasn't like that. The solutions were extremely arbitrary. They seemed to explain everything away with game magic. The way the lens just magically turned on an angle that co I couldn't turn it on myself to point at the hideout that I knew was there since before I got the mission to get the ring was stupid. <laughs> it was incredibly underwhelming and insanely frustrating. Every single one of these puzzles in this game I brute forced. What puzzle did I not brute force? Um the the water the water leveling in laundry i didn't brute force that but that was incredibly easy i spent most of my time moving the water around so i could get the puzzle box and the other non-essential well thing in the basin in the laundry so i mean that was easy that was more exploration than a puzzle i didn't brute force that what else did my brute force That's about it. I brute forced every puzzle in this game because there was no solid foundation for them. There was no proper system or method. There was no proper guidance for what the heck I was supposed to be doing. They would put things and give them some sort of order like the bookshelves. They had like an order to them, but it was completely beyond the scope of my imagination and I get that I'm not the most creative person I'm probably not even the most analytical person someone might have I'm sure lots of people figured that out on their own but I mean I went through dozens of different possible patterns for how many what shelf it was on what order the shelves were in how many bookshelves they were how many books were on the shelf what order it was insane and I ended up just brute forcing it with the hints because I could not figure it out. And on that note, the hints were garbage. They were a hot, smoking, smelly pile of trash. <laughs> that was the only puzzle in the game where the hints actually helped. All of the other ones, the first three hints were like, ah, uh, yes, here it is. I'm Captain Obvious. <laughs> and it's like, I know, I can see all of that with a single glance. Like, the first three hints, useless. The fourth hint, in the beginning, it just solved the puzzle for you. And then by the end, it was also useless. It was just like, uh, which one was it? The one that got me? The, the lens one. It literally told me, this page says this one, this page says this one, this page says this one. It's like, here's the answer. It wasn't the answer. I just brute forced that puzzle. And that's the one that really ticked me off. The lens puzzle was the one that kind of, I just, I completely lost interest in this game because I was so frustrated. I wasn't having fun anymore. And that's the whole point of a game. A puzzle game is supposed to be hard. It's supposed to get grind your gears a little bit. It's supposed to make you go a little crazy and then you get that, whoa, eureka satisfaction in getting it right. I didn't have that at all because I just brute forced every puzzle because I couldn't come up with any method as to why things worked. They just did. And at some point I sit here wondering, does the developer even know how this works? Because your hint is useless. It's like you decided, okay, this is going to be the pattern. There, there's. You gave me a whole list of possible patterns, and you're like, it's going to be this one. This is going to be the proper pattern. We're going to set it up. How does it work? Magic. The lens just flips the way that I want it to after you set it the correct direction. Why? <laughs> Don't ask. You're not supposed to ask. Video game magic. <laughs> and then you would just... I, it's like you didn't even know which one it was yourself and just picked three random pages from the journal and was like yeah set it to these three settings that's the correct answer it wasn't even the right answer like <laughs> it was it was the epitome of arbitrary where even the clues were arbitrary and didn't give you the right answer I was, 
that one really set me off and i think i just stopped enjoying it after that the stupid light puzzles for the, the final puzzle with the spirit ones i was just sitting there the whole time going huh because nothing made sense the massive info dump with nora at the end oh my god that is not how you tell a story ever heard the phrase show don't tell it's rule number one of storytelling don't just have a big expedition exposition where you're like yo here's the explanation for you just played six hours of g going what the hell is anyone talking about all right here's all the info now you know how we're just gonna dump it all on you right at the end and we're th it's like they thought it would be an aha whoa moment nor is the villain it wasn't it was like okay you dumped more terms on me that I don't know what they mean, and are you gonna explain? No, you're not gonna, the game's over, okay. It didn't explain anything. And I made the mistake of thinking of the, I was going into this as a narrative experience, which technically it is, but it's also technically a horror, it's, I can't believe this is labeled a horror game. The scariest part of this game was going into the laundry room while Pearl was kicking stuff around in ghost form. That was the scariest part of this game. And it was a joke. So, all in all, if this game was more like Dear Esther, where it was all a shorter game and all about the gorgeous atmosphere great dialogue and great voice acting with the slightest hints of not really pu see dear esther didn't really do puzzle solving it just gave you an environment for you to read from and come to your own conclusions and lake reading could do more than that they could do some little puzzles maybe more like more like what remains of edith finch where you had a set you just you just you did the thing there was no puzzle you just did the action i wanted a cross between those two the atmosphere played off like dear esther and the puzzles swapped out for just like small gaming moments like what remains of edith finch because i cannot in my right mind compare this to mist in any sense i cannot say the puzzle should have been more like mist because it was closer to uh, what remains of Edith Finch's non-puzzles where you just did a repeatable action as the cutscene continued and the dialogue continued than to miss properly built puzzles. And to be very clear, Mist is on an extremely high pet Mist is way out, you can't even see Mist. Mist is out of frame, okay? Mist is a very high bar. Mist is an outstanding. It is the king of puzzle games. That's not... That is something to aspire to. It is not something to be uh, upset if you don't reach it. You shouldn't be upset if you can't reach that bar. That's okay. But in my opinion, this was closer to the non-puzzles of What Remains of Edith Finch than it was, or, or, or Paradise Lost. What Remains of Edith Finch or Paradise Lost, like those. It was closer to that than it was to Mist. And it was trying to be missed, and it was not. It, it was trying to be missed with a perky story about these kids and these ghosts, and it was not. The puzzles were very disappointing compared to Mist, and it could have been good, maybe, if I went into it with a completely different mindset. But it advertises itself as a narrative-driven horror puzzle. It is not narrative-driven in anything but the technical sense, and it is not remotely a horror. And its puzzles needed to not be puzzles. <laughs> so it's fine like i enjoyed parts of it a lot and i really hated parts of it a lot i don't want to say that it's bad because i don't think it was there were parts of it that i really enjoyed but it's really hard to recommend a game as like say yeah that was a good game when it makes you frustrated because the whole point of a game is to have fun if you're not having fun, what's the point? There is literally no point. You, you play games to have fun, and if you're not having fun, don't play the game. So it's really hard for me to recommend this as a good game and say this is a good game. So, I don't know. It was fine. I enjoyed it most of the time. Roughly. But yeah, I guess that's about it.
Oof, this was my longest recording session in this game. I'm gonna have a... <laughs> I usually did one hour and cut it into three parts. I did three hours. Yeah, I did half the game in this sitting. Uh, because I felt like 90% of this was gonna get cut out because it was just me stumbling around getting more and more mad because I couldn't figure out anything. <laughs> and I, I ended up looking up stuff, so... Yeah, that's going to be fun to edit. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Uh, at the end of the day, it was a game, and I played it, and I mostly enjoyed it, and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I know it's generally not fun to see someone just angrily rant about something that frustrated them, but I do hope that I give some constructive criticism, and I do hope that I help you understand my point of view on a game, and I want to make it very clear that I don't hate the game. It's very hard to make me hate a game. I don't hate most games. I have a lot of respect for the incredible amount of work that goes into developing a game. And a lot of games miss the mark, and that's just a fact of life. Books miss the mark, movies miss the mark, TV series miss the mark, games miss the mark, and that's just a fact. And not every game is going to be a masterpiece, but that doesn't mean it's not worth buying and enjoying. So, I am content that I bought this and played it, and it was okay. It was just fine. It, yeah. That's my rating. It's just fine. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or this series in general, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. And if you did not enjoy this video, make sure to leave me a comment down below letting me know why. Your constructive feedback is always welcome and always appreciated. And I'm always open to listening to whatever you have to say about it. If you would like to stay up to date on more content like this, and I have a whole roadmap of video games coming up, you know what, I think I'll, uh, let's see, what am I playing next? Next, I'm gonna be playing Far Loan Sales is the plan. So we're gonna be doing that next if all goes according to plan. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure to get subscribed and hit the bell button to be notified whenever I release a new video and maybe see the, be the first person to see that new video. Uh, it's, I would be very touched. We'll say that. <laughs> Well, that's time. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this series, even through its its, it's good and its bad. Through all the best ups and the worst lows. So, that's all for now. Until the next time. Bye-bye. I don't know why I used two hands. Bye-bye. Let's go. Bye. Okay, we're out. See ya.